The saying, knowledge is power, holds especially true in the kitchen. The more you know about what's going on inside your food as it cooks, the more you can control the result. Here at the Test Kitchen, we're fanatical about thermometers. That's because over the years, we've learned that it pays to monitor the temperature, not only of meat, but also of pies, cakes, breads, poaching water, butter, tea, coffee, caramel, custards, even baked potatoes. If you're going to use a thermometer, it should be a digital instant read thermometer. Old dial thermometers are slow and inaccurate in comparison. But the Test Kitchen's top-rated digital kitchen thermometer, the Thermapen, is expensive. It costs $99. In search of a cheaper alternative, we tested inexpensive digital thermometers to find the best model on the market. We capped the price at $35, but as we were narrowing our testing field, we found many thermometers only read up to about 300 degrees, which is fine for me, but not much else. So we added another qualifier. Each thermometer had to read up to around 400 degrees so that it could be used when making candy, caramel, and other foods that require higher temperatures. We ran the thermometers through a battery of tests, including taking the temperature of ice water, boiling water, roast chicken, and bubbling caramel. First off, a good digital thermometer needs to be accurate. Otherwise, what's the point? Aside from a few buggy models, most thermometers in our lineup were indeed accurate. So next we looked at speed. Three quarters of the thermometers read in under 10 seconds. The fastest one read in just three seconds. So if most thermometers were accurate and fast, why didn't we like more of them? In the end, it came down to how easy they were to use. Our testers found three things factored into how user-friendly the thermometers were. Length, grip, and visibility. Regarding length, the eight thermometers ranged from five and three quarters to eight and three quarters inches long, and we found that longer was better. Otherwise, our hands were too close to the heat, so we had to fumble with bulky pot holders. Next up, grip. All of the thermometers have two basic parts, a long metal probe and a head with a digital screen. A few only allowed for a dainty two-fingered grip, like a damsel waving a hanky, which does not work when you're trying to spear a chicken thigh that's spitting hot fat. The best felt ergonomic and secure in our hands. Last up, visibility. Larger and clearer displays were best, Testers also preferred screens situated on the side of the thermometer's head as opposed to on top because they were easier to read from different angles. The best thermometer was lollipop shaped and had a display that was visible at any angle for both lefties and righties. This model was also fast, accurate, and easy to use. It's smaller and not quite as comfortable to hold as a Thermapen, but it costs less than a third of the price and is made by the same company. The Thermaworks Thermapop is our top digital thermometer for the budget-conscious cook.